Hi. Is that one a piebald? No. Just in the shadows. Would have been kinda cool. I have two piebald diamond cinnamon teal. And one of them I knew was a piebald as it was flying away. And I just didn't have time to record it if I wanted to get it. And the other... I... Just didn't know. Just a common, but... It's a diamond, so... It's neato, I suppose. Find somewhere in the lodge for that. Big meal! I hope we didn't miss the mule deer. We ought to be able to see him. See, this this hasn't been like this in a long time. And it used to be. You would get... That's an albino. You would get herds of water buffalo up at this spot. But lately it's only been one or two. But whatever's been changed... They're finally here. Looks like we got them. I need to keep moving so that one doesn't run us over. I don't know. I guess I'll keep that. If he makes gold, I definitely would. I'd like slightly higher scoring ones. The water buffalo look a little bit goofy around level 6, I think. But that's actually cool. Okay. Call me crazy. <laughs> but I swear, that one also looked melanistic. And that one looked, like, really melanistic. That one actually is. Okay. I'm not insane. Can I use the 762 for this one? <laughs> Life would be so much easier, man. I think Hunter Man would hit me for the rest of my life if I did that. 330 meters. There's just... On the walk? There's no way I'm going to hit that. Can't even spot him. Houston, yeah, we're going back around again. They rest up here somewhere, I believe. I'm stuck. We'll get around here where we can find it. I like how we were talking about that earlier in the stream today. Like, I've never killed a melanistic uh, mule deer buck. Or melanistic mule deer at all, I think. Just gotta get a little bit closer. I'd like to stop him too if I can. But that's not extremely likely. He's gonna start trotting again. There is a thing we can do. I have okay, we're gonna do that. Because that should alert him. And then when he stops. That was effective. <laughs> I'm kinda proud of the fact that that worked that well. So there were two rares shown at this lake. The water buffalo, which that has to be a product of the fact that they moved the um, the zones around. I'm guessing he probably has been drinking down in here and I haven't been looking for water buffalo in a long time. So I don't really hunt their drink zones. And then they moved the zones and he was up here. I shouldn't even say they moved the zones, but something changed. Like, I've had like three water buffalo drinking at this lake for the past six months. And then all of a sudden there's an entire herd. Like something happened. I've done that a couple of times with different things, and it's one of my favorite strategies for getting animals to stop, like when they're too far away to whistle at. But you do have to be fast, because obviously when they go alert, they start to turn around and stuff. Let's get a little picture of this guy. Face in a rock, that's unfortunate. But, kind of decent little silver. They do look cool. I don't know that I really want to grind for one. You know what? He's got... Or does he? Yeah, they are two different antlers. That doesn't even look that bad, though. Both sides like this looks really weird. Honestly, with that being uneven, just the, these two antlers together can fit. A lot of the uneven ones don't, but those actually do. I don't hate it. We'll definitely put them in the lodge for the moment, anyway. With Legacy Racks, most of the sixes made gold. I don't know a true rags. Yeah, he is just a silver, so. Not by much. Needed two more. But I wouldn't say, even if he was a gold, that I'd necessarily keep him if he looked like that. Like, just a little more size to the horns than I definitely would. But I've got some small stuff on the, like, really big plaques that I want to replace. And he can definitely have a spot there for a while anyhow. Uh, anyhow. Hi. Hi. 
see if we can get that at that angle. I really am not so good with the up and away angles like that. Wish we had kept him spotted for longer. Might lose that one. If we could get behind him more and just have to worry about the drop. Wait, it is that one. No way. <laughs> Sometimes that's the best way. Just spam shots. Alright. That one landed right up there. Let's see what we got going on for that. Are you like a different feather type or anything? Looks pretty common to me. 4.8 though, that's a max score. Okay. Just casually 300 meters spamming shots at a max score diamond teal. Okay then. It's a pretty good way to end the stream. All right, well, here we go again with this. We're at this spot where we keep killing diamond cape buffalo. And if I just back up a little bit so the grass is out of the way, there is a level 9 up there, but not only is he a 9, he is actually the brown fur type. I'm pretty sure he's small horns, and I've had two of these in the past, and both of them were actually trolls, so I'm not super uh, confident that that's going to be a brown diamond, because every time I see one of these, it does end up trolling me. But just because of the way this is, and the fact that they're about to start drinking, I want to get into about 300 meters and take the shot, because it's 10 after 8 in game already. Like, they're gonna be leaving very soon. And the fact that I just discovered a zone actually kind of makes me think they're gonna be leaving pretty much any minute. So, we're at 3.30. Maybe we just go for that? If he lifts his head, that's not much of a bullet drop from, like, zeroing at 300. That felt fine. See if he starts to drop here. Yeah, he is, so... Definitely got him. And I'm pretty confident that's the brown fur type. Like, every now and then when the lighting changes, it actually looks like it wasn't. But I really hope it's, uh... Third time's a charm with this one, because... Like I said, two have trolled me in the past. He is definitely the brown fur type. And definitely small horns, so... Hardly a guarantee. I think we'll kind of auto-run and do this. But he made it. 153.4 Diamond Brown Cape Buffalo. I've been waiting almost exactly two years to get that. We're gonna go ahead and click out of here already just so we don't get run over. Maybe we'll do a couple of like side on screenshots. But Verhunga Savannah came out two years ago in a week. And the very first Cape Buffalo I spotted, I thought was a rare was a brown fur type and from that moment I've wanted a diamond brown and finally almost two years later we actually got one after two trolls and in the spot that just keeps on producing go figure so actually same server as the brown diamond cape buffalo we shot and there's another one down here but again it's the small horns so I'm not super worried about trying to get him with a bow or anything but we'll scoot in here he kind of quartered towards us a bit and I always like to at least attempt the hard shots on them, because if you get the drop shot, they have a really nice animation. Just like that, so... Most of the time, if I... Alright, uh, if I do see two level 9k buffalo in the same server, one ends up being a troll. Hopefully that's not going to be the case here, but... I have rarely, if ever gotten two diamond cape buffalo in the same server i'm trying to think if that's happened because i've had two level nines a couple of times but i'm pretty sure they've been trolls with at least one of them now hey that one actually made it as well and he's i think the same score i want to say the other guy was 153.42 but heart and double lung actually kind of cool to just straight up heart shot a diamond one because I've probably done that, but I'm not really 100% confident that I have any time recently. And I've been talking about trying to maybe get rid of some of the uh, diamond water buffalo in our lodge that were like 
way too common, basically making diamond at level 8. The more of these Cape Buffalo we get, the more we can do that. So we ended up getting a lot of interesting stuff this week, but by far my favorite was the brown diamond Cape Buffalo, and as I said, I've been chasing one for almost exactly two years to finally get one to make diamond after two trolls, which is really, really cool, and I'm just so glad to have that like in the new lodge and not one that I got a long time ago on the old scoring system, but I'm wondering to maybe put him in this multi-mount. Like, I feel like the albino's best left like full body mounted like this, but he's big enough he would look okay on the wall, so that's something I may change at some point. And then the other diamond cape buffalo is just up here, and they were actually slightly different scores. You can see the brown one was smaller, just 0 0.40, and then the other guy was 0.49, so that was good that they weren't like the exact same score, because that would have been kind of weird out of the same server. But then we'll go down through this hallway, because everything from that Parque Fernando stream is in here. And that one was insane, because the first 90 minutes was nothing. And then the last half hour we got these four, so the Melanus Signorier, which, as I said, he's uneven. But I actually like it, those two antlers just work together. And then we have our max score diamond teal, which we have a max score diamond uh, harlequin duck in the lodge as well, so at some point getting a mallard with max score would be cool to kind of complete that trifecta. But then I think an almost minimum score cinnamon teal, 4.61, so uh, 0.1 away from, or 0 0.01 away from being minimum. And then our albino water buffalo, which for both the water buffalo and the mule deer, I am trying to do the thing where it's like all gold rares are better in the lodge. So maybe we try to replace those, but at least for the water buffalo. I'm actually thinking of starting to hunt them kind of hard again, because a lot of these are like mythical diamonds and stuff in the lodge, and I want to replace them, and also maybe get a better albino while we're at it. But because I mentioned the two piebald cinnamon teal in the video, I figured I'd just kind of come in here and show you guys that, because what happened was they were never in a video, and I think I just put them in a different trophy lodge, kind of just... Eventually I was going to mention them in the video and completely forgot about them. So, since they were in the video in a screenshot anyway, I thought I'd show them in there. But yeah, definitely nice to get this and nice to wrap up another week of pretty cool Trophy Lodge editions. So, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.